Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and I hope you're somewhere cozy and safe because today I'm going to be doing a reading with my sister of Andy96 is typing. This story has a little bit of swearing and some scary situations, so just a quick content warning for anyone who's a little young or is sensitive to that kind of thing. This story was originally written out as an I am chat history, so keep that in mind when you're listening. I hope you enjoy. You asleep? No. Guess you're not either. Can't. It's the wind. Sounds like cats fighting. What's your excuse? Studying. So that's what they call YouTube now? How dare. Not denying it. Can't believe what Johnny did today. Me neither. That boy has issues. Good god, the wind is so loud. It doesn't seem normal. No wind over here. Just rain. Lucky you. I need my beauty sleep. Yeah, you do. What? You mean I look... Shit, I think I just heard footsteps on the gravel outside. Go get your crazy dad to check it out. I'm home alone. The fam are on holiday, remember? I told you this. Really? Till when? We should hang out. They really sound like footsteps, but there's something odd about them. I should look out the window, but my bed's so warm. You sure you want to look out your window when you're alone? What if there really is someone in your garden looking up at you? Not funny, Taylor. Wow, chill. I'm sure it's nothing. Gonna go check. BRB. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are we gonna call? Taylor, there's someone in the garden. What, really? Yes, I can see a man's back. What's he doing? He's looking for something on his hands and knees in the bushes. <laughs> he must be high. Probably looking for his drugs. Taylor, this is serious. What should I do? Nothing? He'll probably go away by himself. Oh my god, now he's digging with his bare hands. He's ruining the garden. Shit, he's turning around. What does he look like? Taylor, this isn't funny. What? How are you doing that? What are you talking about? I can see you in my garden. How are you writing here without touching your phone? Look up, I'm by the window. Can't you hear me banging on it? Jeez, Annie, now you're scaring me too. I'm definitely not in your garden. That's not me. Stop playing around. I can see your face, and you're wearing that stupid football jacket you're so proud of. You must be someone who looks like me. Honestly, Annie, I'm at home. I wouldn't play around like that. It has to be a friend of yours, Taylor playing a sick prank. How else could he be wearing your jacket? There are loads of jackets like that. My friends don't look anything like me. You just have me on your mind. He's digging again. Leave already! Annie, do you have a gun in your house? Don't be stupid, Taylor. I couldn't shoot anyone. You don't have to use it. Just show you're carrying. Doesn't that jacket have your name on the back? Yeah, the team all got one with their names on it. I can see your name. What? What the hell is this, Taylor? Annie, that jacket's in my closet. Oh no, he's seen me. Why is he smiling like that? He's coming. Call the cops. Annie? Annie, pick up. I've called the cops, told them there's a break-in attempt at your house. They said they'll be on their way, but it'll take about half an hour. Annie, are you there? It's in the house. Can't talk, I have to be quiet. Lights off. I'm in a closet with a knife. Hard to type, shaking too much. Oh god, hang in there, Annie. The police will be there in 20 minutes. Do you know where he is? It, not he. The look it had when it saw me, Taylor. No person could look like that. Jesus Christ. Does it know where you are? No, I grabbed the knife when I saw it running towards the house and I got in the closet when I heard it breaking in. Oh good, you'll be fine. A druggie doesn't have the brains to find someone hiding in a closet. The police will be there soon. Oh god, it's calling out to me. It doesn't sound like you, Taylor. Its voice is so deep, filling the house, filling my head. What is it saying? Come out, Annie. I just want to look at you. It keeps repeating that over and over. Have I gone crazy, Taylor? Is this what it feels like? Just ten more minutes, Annie. Keep it together. You're so strong. You will get through this. It's coming up the stairs, but so slowly. Irregular steps. Why does it look like you, Taylor? Why you? I don't know, Annie. Can you make it stop? Please make it stop. I would if I could. I promise you. It's at the end of the hall. Taylor, I didn't say anything to my parents when they left. I was listening to music. Is that the last time I'll ever see them? Annie. This has something to do with you, Taylor. Only you can make it stop. Think fast. I don't know, Annie. God, please. Please. It it might be because I think about you so much. I think about you all the time. So stop. 
I, I don't know how. It's scraping something on the walls. The walls, it's getting closer. Please, Taylor. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. It's slowing down, try harder. Whatever you're doing, it's working. It stopped, I, I can't hear anything. Really? D don't go out yet, stay put till the police get there. What should I tell them if he's gone? Everything, Annie, everything you've told me. I didn't know you felt that way about me, Taylor. Oh, I'm so glad it stopped. Can you come over in the morning, Taylor? I really need to see you. Of course, Annie, I'll be there. Great, can't wait. A Annie? Annie, how do I know this is you? That was my reading and illustration for Annie 96's typing. Thank you to my sister for playing the voice of Taylor. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. It was a pretty creepy one. I'm glad you guys told me about it. If you have another creepypasta you'd like me to read and illustrate, let me know in the comments. And stay safe out there, guys. Big thank you to my patrons, including Heart Sprinkle, Muffins McGee, Payne Amel, Adrian Delport, Violet Wilkes, Chartype, Den, Brock, Juan Alvarez, blah 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 blah, Adrian Morales, at Lives Likes to Draw, and Kate Meekins. Thank you so much for your support.